What's up guys, Andrew Guzman here, and today I'm so excited because the leaves are starting to fall and change colors, which means one thing, that Halloween is right around the corner. No, I'm not talking about the 2018 film or its upcoming sequels, which I am also excited for, just saying. But October 31st, Halloween, which is the same day majority of the film takes place. Hmm. Anyway, this is the time of the year that I like to think about my Halloween costume. I like to plan ahead in case I have to build my costume from scratch. After doing a lot of thinking and careful considerations, I have decided that this year for Halloween, I am going to be a Ghostbuster. And the best part about being a Ghostbuster is, you guessed it, the Proton Pack. This is the Spirit Halloween Deluxe Ghostbusters Proton Pack. This is not a review of the Spirit Halloween Deluxe Ghostbusters Proton Pack, nor is it sponsored by Spirit Halloween or anyone else, because no one else wanted to sponsor this video. I am going to be modifying this Proton Pack with actual working lights and sound, and make it a little more movie accurate. I will take you on my process of how I put everything together and show you all the parts I use to make the modifications to the Proton Pack. Sounds good to you? Great! Let's begin! We need some inspiration music to get us going. Uh, uh, you know what, uh, on second thought, uh, let me shut the music off because I don't want to get hit with a YouTube copyright strike. Um, uh, music credit in the description below. Okay, so next to me is the Spirit Halloween Deluxe Ghostbusters Proton Pack. And right off the box, this thing is a beauty. It looks pretty close to the real deal. And for 70 bucks, you can't complain about that. Okay, so, but there are a lot of things that I need to do in order to modify it. So I'm just gonna go over it quickly. So that way you guys can get a visual of what we're going to do. Okay, so, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is definitely all this is gonna get painted. All this is gonna paint, get painted because you may not be able to see it right closely, but it is kind of like a grayish black. So all this is definitely gonna get painted. I'm gonna remove all the stickers that are, I can't see, all of them are not visible, but um, uh, all the stickers are definitely gonna get removed. And then once we paint it, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit, maybe add some graphite powder to give it more of a metallic kind of look. That's just the overall motherboard that's gonna get repainted. And now for the cosmetic parts, the actual parts that we're gonna change, uh, let's go, let's take a look. So let's start from the top. Okay, so this res uh, resistor and this crank knob, we're gonna paint it gray. Um, this wire is gonna be changed to yellow and I'm gonna use this wire for an injector that's down here, which I'm also gonna add. The part is on its way. Um, I'm gonna add the iron rod here and this, this wire up here, this blue wire, we're gonna change it, we're gonna screw it onto this little brass fitting because it's actually behind it. In the actual movie, it is on the, the brass fitting over here. Um, we're gonna add the power cell lights, the actual lights, because the lights that it comes with, let me see if I can get it. Not that impressive, but uh, it's actually not that bad though. But we're gonna adjust that. Okay, so. Okay, what we're gonna do, this ribbon cable is definitely gonna be changed. Um, this, the cyclotron lights, they're white here. They're like a clear color and they turn red when you turn on the spirit one. Uh, we're gonna actually keep it red. And we're gonna put, uh, change the disc into red. And the lights are gonna light up. It's gonna start here, then go to here, here, here. Uh, I'm gonna add the bumper that's actually at the bottom. Uh, there's a screw in the middle of this. We're gonna add that. Uh, the end filter, I'm gonna put holes and I'm gonna put maybe like a mesh kind of thing because maybe somewhere down the line I may wanna add uh, the venting smoke. Um, what else? 
this is not a green cable in the real one there it's actually one of these but a skinnier one which it does come with the cosmetic kit um, I'm gonna add a PVC uh, piece of a PC, uh, PVC pipe in here and attach this this hose right onto it to make it a little more movie accurate um, the wand is definitely going to be upgraded. It's going to be painted as well. This will not be a white tubing, more of a clear tubing. And the sound will be upgraded. The sound that you just heard a little earlier, uh, no more. It would be a much more amplified kind of sound, and it may sound, and it's going to sound more like the actual movie deal. And then, after it's all said and done, we'll attach it to an Alice pack, and yeah that's about it for that oh and the v hook with the spirit one i'm gonna actually add the v hook it's also on its way hopefully it gets here sooner because without the v hook attached i can't really start painting it or whatever and also getting a uh and also getting brand new stickers for for the proton pack and that looks like it's about it after spending some time browsing on Amazon, eBay, and even Etsy, I have managed to find all the parts I'm going to need to make the modifications to the Proton Pack. The parts have to indicate it's for the Spirit Halloween Deluxe Ghostbusters Proton Pack, otherwise the parts will not fit, so keep an eye out for that. I have placed an order for all the parts I'm going to need to make the modifications, and now we just wait for the parts to arrive in the mail. It's been a couple of days and finally all the parts have arrived in the mail. I have to glue a couple of the parts before I can begin to paint the proton pack. The parts that I'm going to be gluing onto the proton pack are the dual injector tube hose adapter, the cyclotron bumper, and lastly, the V-hook. So I glued the parts onto the proton pack. I couldn't record anything because my battery just died. Damn it. I guess now we wait for the glue to dry. Wait, let me show you all the parts I bought for the Proton Pack in the meantime. Okay guys, so here are all the parts I'm going to show you that I purchased to make the modifications to the Proton Pack. Let me take out my handy little blade here. And let's cut some of these packages open. Let's go. Let's start off. Okay, so let's start off with this. Okay, I guess in here, right off the bat, I guess here is the cosmetic parts. Let's see what we got here. Oh, even the tubing is here. Okay. So let me just take out all this stuff. I will neatly put these back in the box and let me show you okay so in here okay so this off the bat this is probably the cosmetics part the cosmetic parts of the proton pack as you can see here's the the black tubing uh, inside here is the iron rod there's some nuts and bolts there I, I see the ribbon cable the ribbon cable clamp there's a red and yellow and green tubing. And there's the red strip for around the end filter. These little things, I'm not going to use them. You're supposed to put them on on the end filter, around the end filter. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to make holes and put like a mesh kind of thing. Because maybe down the line, I'm going to want to do the vape smoke for when the proton pack overheats. Okay, here what we got is the tubing for the the neutrino one. Looks pretty good. And there comes the pack. And there's my cat. And there's my cat snooping around. <laughs> Maui, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, so yep, so we got that. These are I this is for the cyclotron lights. Little 
red cups. And this is also, I guess, for the disc. Maui, get out of the way. <laughs> you little crazy furball, you. You're going to get hair on the lens. <laughs> okay, so here we got the to cover up the red disc for the cyclotron, cyclotron light. Excuse me, I can't talk. Uh, I believe this is internal stuff. I'm not sure if this is for the... Yeah, this has got to be for the cyclotron light. And this is for the power cell, the blue lights on the proton pack. And obviously here is the ribbon cable. Okay, so that takes care of that box. Oop. Let's move this to the side. I will pack this neatly. Let's see what comes in this big box. I already slid it open. Oh, they double packed this. The guy at Ghost Labs, I think his name was Doug K. I'm not sure what the K stands for. Um, he sent me this. He did a good job packing this, I will say. Um, all the parts will be listed in the description below. So if you guys want to build your own Proton Pack cosmetic kit, uh, more than welcome to do so. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Oh, tight. I may need to cut this a little more. Ah, here we go. Oh, these are the little knobs for the neutrino wand to power to, uh, power it on. Okay, and this is more okay, but I guess this runs through the tubing onto the motherboard. Now, let's just put this back. And in here is... Let's see what's in here. My receipt. Ah, look at this. Here's the speaker. Here's the speaker from Ghost Labs, and here's more parts. I, this is, I guess, this is the definitely the sound upgrade. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to put this bad boy together. Let me put this back in here. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want it to get damaged. And this is more parts. Of, this is definitely sound upgrade. But there you have it. Um, like I said a little while ago, that all the all these uh, parts would be in the description, so that way. You can purchase them for yourself. It's actually fairly priced. All these parts are fairly priced. Um, yeah, so hopefully once uh, the glue dries, I can definitely get started with the exterior and then go on to the sound great stuff. Now that you've seen all the parts I've purchased, I can finally get started on making the modifications to the Proton Pack. In the next video, we get to work on the exterior part of the Proton Pack. Until then, I'm Andrew Guzman. Have a good one. Thanks everyone for checking out my video. Part 2 will be out next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon to be notified for new content. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Thanks everyone. Peace.